Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, all of my friends who are here to listen and to view this video. Uh, I have come up with a story that will uh, that will uh, show us the uh, the usage of abstract classes and how you know normally uh, people. Uh, make use of abstract class in their uh, implementation and design without thinking of uh, the aftermaths. So this is a story of a programmer known as Joe. And Joe got a, a requirement to make a simulator program for different duck behaviors. So uh, different duck behaviors like a duck can be, you know, uh, can have a display and a duck can quack. Quack means uh, the sound duck produces and uh, a duck can swim. So these things uh, are, uh, you know, some of the behaviors of ducks. So he started designing uh, the, uh, the classes for his program and what he come up with was like this. So he designed a super class. And uh, in this super class, he uh, just put all the abstract methods and uh, he put that quack, swim and display in the uh, super class. And he inherited all, uh, you know, he inherited this uh, class in uh, the uh, concrete classes where, uh, uh, for example, he has taken mallard kind of duck and uh, the duck which is red headed. So these kind of ducks are there in his uh, program, right? And what happened was, I mean, uh, okay, fine. Uh, what, uh, because every duck was uh, having a dis uh, having a different display, basically uh, you know different color, different appearance. So ducks are different, uh, you know, in uh, a, at a at a glance they're different. So the display method should be uh, overridden. So uh, uh, he he uh, did like you know uh, uh, he over overrided uh, this uh, display method and uh, uh, given his uh, own uh, implementation for. Uh, this uh, display method for different kind of ducks. So this was uh, this was it, and uh, he he thought like uh, he has uh, done a great job. He has uh, done a code re uh, reuse here because he is uh, putting uh, the uh, you know uh, putting the quack and swim because every uh, duck can swim, every duck can quack. So these are uh, the common methods and. Uh, it's a it's a good uh, reuse of uh, abstract uh, methods here, right? And uh, but then uh, where the display is different, uh, he put all uh, you know uh, all his implementations in uh, different uh, uh, different kind of duck classes, which are which are inheriting this duck uh, super class. So uh, what happened? Uh, okay, so uh, the company uh, the company. Uh, had uh, a lot of competition with other uh, duck simulator programs with other companies and uh, every every company's uh, ducks were uh, providing you know uh, all the methods like quack swim display and and so on so this company where uh, joe works so uh, joe's company uh, decided that uh, they will introduce a new feature uh, where uh, the ducks can fly so normally ducks cannot fly so uh, the company decided that uh, it's a it's a crazy or it's a basically it's a creative idea. Yes, I can say that. So uh, uh, the company uh, decides that the ducks will fly now. So uh, this uh, task was given to Joe, and uh, as Joe was a great object-oriented programmer, and uh, you know uh, the designing skills, he was uh, very very. Uh, uh, proud of and uh, quite a quite a few times he he started boasting about those so he uh, put that fly uh, you know uh, uh, this fly capability in the abstract class that is the parent class and now 
he is, you know, he is confident that his ducks will now fly. So what happened then? Uh, now, uh, what happened was that we can see here. Okay, yeah. So what happened was, so every every duck that is, you know, a living living uh, duck uh, started flying. It's fine, but the ducks which should not be, you know, flying, they also started flying. Uh, for example, a rubber duck cannot fly. A wooden duck cannot fly. And uh, you know uh, any any uh, any other kind of ducks which are uh, living, so they can fly. It's fine, but uh, the capability of flying, which is not meant uh, for a kind of duck, uh, you know that capability also was provided by the superclass in these subclasses. So as uh, it's you know it's written on the top that a localized update to the code caused a non-localized side effect, flying rubber ducks. So this means that, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the effect was kind of a global effect. Uh, in the, uh, whichever classes were inheriting uh, the super class, every, uh, everywhere this, uh, this behavior from the parent, um, you know, uh, this propagated and this was inherited in every uh, child duck class so you know uh, what what he thought was a great use of inheritance for uh, the purpose of reuse he hasn't turned out so well when it comes to maintenance uh, right so uh, what what can actually be done what can actually be done uh, if i if i you know uh, if i ask joe that uh, you know how how you will uh, control this behavior now. So he came up like, okay, I will override, override the fly method wherever it is not needed. And I will, uh, you know, I will do nothing in that uh, overridden fly method. So uh, this is, uh, you know, if you have one or two classes, it's fine, you can do. But uh, this, this idea is not a great idea to override for wherever uh, override it and uh, do nothing in the implementation, the concrete implementation. So this is, uh, it, it's fine when you have four or five classes, but uh, it will be a havoc when uh, you have, you know, uh, maybe uh, thousands of classes which are generating your super class. So it is not recommended at all. Uh, just use abstract class and uh, put uh, the uh, put the abstract uh, implementation in the abstract class for only those behaviors which are common and which are you know uh, which are needed to be uh, needed to be inherited and used as it is if you want to override if you want to give uh, your own implementation so uh, abstract uh, abstract methods are not a good idea. Instead of that, uh, we need to use interfaces. So how to uh, use interfaces? What is the use of interfaces? And uh, how uh, we you know uh, uh, how we move towards a better design using implementation? I will come up in my next video. So yeah, and uh, this is. Uh, this is one of the uh, greatest book of all times. Uh, this is Head First Design Patterns uh, by O'Reilly and uh, Eric Freeman and Elizabeth Freeman uh, with Kathy Sierra and uh, Bert Bates. Uh, I'm sorry if I uh, uh, if I misspelled or mispronounced this name, uh, but yes, uh, this is a very good book, and uh, I uh, owe these credits to uh, this book. And I have. Uh, um, created uh, this chapter from uh, the notes I uh, I created uh, from noted down the notes from uh, this book. So uh, stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.